Hello viewers of Biotechnica, this is Caroline Green. Today's video is going to be from a request from one of the viewer who has asked to uh, do a video on PhD in Switzerland, then this video is definitely going to be for you. And if anybody is looking for a PhD opportunity in Switzerland, then I am in this video going to talk about everything you need to know about PhD at Switzerland. So come along with me and let's discuss the complete topic in detail. So let's now talk about the PhD at Switzerland. So how is PhD at Switzerland going to be? So I have some uh, important advantage that studying at PhD in Switzerland going to fetch you. So the first is going to be, of course, your tuition fees. Yes, when we think about doing a PhD abroad, the first thing that comes into our mind is tuition fees. So the tuition fee is affordable at Switzerland. So it's one of the good reasons that you can opt for PhD at Switzerland. The second important thing is most of the PhD programs that you see at Switzerland are world class reputed programs. So it's always good enough to take up uh, Switzerland PhD programs which has a lot of advantages also and when you compare after completing your PhD and if you're going to work at Switzerland if you find the unemployment rates are literally very low at Switzerland so which is one of the opportunity if you're going to do PhD you can either land up getting a postdoctoral position over there or you can get any kind of job in a pharma uh, industry as well. So the salaries are well above all the European average salary so if we compare it with the um, European salary so this Switzerland has an average salary so it's always good enough that you go in for PhD at Germany also. Now the next most important question comes for us is you might be wondering what are the universities that are good or the institutes that are good for biological sciences very specifically. So whenever you go for a, choosing any kind of PhD programs or university, it doesn't mean like the university is a very great university, you have to go and choose it over there. The main important thing is whether the university is very specialized in the field of interest that you're going to do. That matters a lot when we talk in case of PhD. So I'm going to talk about for biological sciences, what are the universities that are really, really important or which is very well equipped or very good enough to take it up. So the first is going to be university of Jewish. So this is a wonderful university. You can find a lot of fellowships available at the University of Jewish. So it is the 58th a rank it, it holds almost 58th rank in the entire world the next is university of geneva so if anybody wanted to look in for you can go to each of their website and look in for the phd programs i'm listing out some of the good universities for biological sciences the next one is university of Fribourg, and next one is eth jurish university next is university of Lausanne, and the next is university of jurish very specifically i'm going to talk about this they have different programs if you see it over here the University of Jurich has different programs starting from systems biology, they do have science and policy, they have RNA biology, they have plant science, neuroscience, molecular life sciences, microbiology, immunology, MD and PhD programs also they do have. If anybody is interested in evolutionary biology, epidemiology and biostatistics, ecology, drug discovery, clinical science, oncology, of course, and biomolecular structure and mechanism, biomedicine, medical ethics and law. Whichever is your field of interest, you can choose accordingly. If anybody is interested in oncology, I'm going to tell you. Life Science Jurish Graduate School is going to provide you a lot of fellowship. If anybody wanted to join in any of these fields, you can literally go to this website and you can check out the programs and you can apply to life science jurish graduate school for your phd program most important one so university of jurish an amazing university for doing your phd the next is if anybody might be interested in bioinformatics if you're going to ask me like whether i can get a phd positions at uni university in any of the universities at switzerland then i'm going to tell you swiss federal institute of technology uh, here they deal with computational and quantitative biology so you can also apply for EPFL so here you can literally get a PhD position also the next is if anybody is very specifically wanted to go for oncology as I already told you you can go for University of Jurish 
or University of Bern, which is very, very good for oncology also. So these are some of the universities that are very good enough for biological sciences. The next important thing is I'm going to talk about the scholarships. There are a lot of scholarships that are available for all the subjects. But when we talk in case of only biological sciences, so I'm going to list out some of the most important scholarship that you should apply for. The first is going to be Swiss Government Excellence Scholarship. This is the most privileged and the prestigious scholarship provided by the government of Switzerland. So I'm going to talk this scholarship in detail and then this one and then this one. So if anybody wanted to apply for it, please do take a screenshot. It's going to be a real help. So first, let's talk about the Swiss Government Excellence Scholarship. So here you can see this is an international postgraduate researchers in any discipline. It's not only for science, it's also for arts and any of the discipline if you're belonging to. If, if you are an international candidate, then you can definitely go for this uh, scholarship. And this is awarded in uh, three important places very specifically. Swiss Cantonal University, all the Swiss universities and all the University of Applied Sciences. I'm going to list out all the university names. And the next is two Federal Institute of Technology. Technology. One we have already seen for bioinformatics. So this is Institute of Technology. This is for applied science and this university has most of the uh, research laboratories or other colleges also. And this is awarded. How much is the award going to be or how much is the stipendship or the fellowship going to be? They're going to provide you your monthly living stipend exemption of tuition fees that as I already mentioned they have a very low uh, cost of uh, expenses when we compare it uh, for the education and if you're going to be an international candidates even your health insurance will be taken care of and you're traveling back again to India suppose if you're coming back again the final cost will also be taken care of and housing allowances the monthly payment is going to be approximately Swiss francs of thousand hundred and thousand and nine twenty uh, you're going to get it and and Swiss francs of 300 housing allowances will be paid for the beginning. At the beginning of your scholarship, they're going to give you housing allowances. And definitely, if you're going to be an international candidate, then they're going to provide you a Swiss health insurance as well as the travel expenses when you're going to return back to India. Now, the most important question comes for us is, as I already told you, there are three participating uh, universities, Federal Institute, as well as Applied Science Universities. So I'm going to list out all the universities together. First, let me show you the university list. So you can go to these university and check in for the PhD program. What are the research uh, programs that are available? So it starts from University of Basel, Bern, Fribourg and Lucerne and it just continues. Jurish is still now there and Federal Institute of Technology, University of Geneva. So these are some of the university which comes under Swiss Cantonal University. This is very specifically for Cantonal University. And if we go for University of Applied Sciences, very specifically, if I'm going to make a a little bit of changes over here. So Graduate Institute of International and Developmental Studies and this is Applied Sciences and this is Applied Sciences and this is also Applied Sciences. So these are some of the universities that are most specialized in Applied Sciences. So you can go look on to these website, these university website and also you can apply for Applied Sciences. The next is going to be in Teaching and Research Institute. So this is what the Federal Institute of Technology uh, you can see it over here, Swiss Federal Institute of Technology and Swiss Federal Institute, which is a Jewish and Research Institute of Domains are actually these are the things. So you can go to this website and you can check over what is your research interest. You can apply to that also. OK, and the next important thing is how do you have to apply for this scholarship application procedure? So I'm going to show you. Uh, this one very specifically so you would always have the Swiss government excellence scholarship program released for almost 180 plus countries so this is the website you can uh, expect uh, finding this scholarship been released at the month of early August and call for proposals get the application packages from Swiss representation by September they will be calling for the proposal and you have to submit your proposals uh, forms, you have to fill up the application forms, your research proposal, your SOPs, your recommendation letters or a reference letter has to be submitted. And then submission deadline usually will be in the month of September to December. And the selection will be done at the month of May and you will be starting off this scholarship by the next September. So usually you have to look in for this notification by the month early of August. So this is a wonderful scholarship for PhD at university 
very specifically applied science or universities or federal institute of technology okay the next important one is this is also a wonderful scholarship so this is going to be biozentrum fellowship program and this is provided by university of basel if we talk in case of swiss government excellence scholarship it's provided it includes lot of universities but this university of basel exclusively provides one fellowship called biozentrum fellowship program and here it is for duration is 3 years and the tuition fees is 646 euros for one year and the tentative date is going to be for june and international phd program also you can apply for this scholarship but this is provided by university of basel if you find university of basel is mainly for oncology research so if anybody wanted to go in for oncology then you can look in for this fellowship also the next important fellowship i'm going to talk about is brodinger's ingenham falls phd fellowship and this is for people who would like to take a phd in biomedical sciences you can definitely go for or if anybody wanted to go in for a research related to biosciences biomedical sciences then you can take up the deadline usually varies so you can go to this website and keep checking it over there and it is also a fully funded one they're going to give you a monthly stipend along with your travel expenses so these are the most important scholarship that you have to apply for your phd programs as well now the next important thing is what are the research fields of or the projects that are available for you so i'm going to talk about two important things very specifically you have to go and apply to the university you have to apply uh, do an application form and then it will be forwarded to the pi or to the scientist or to the person whom you're going to work under and there will be an interview conducted and then you will be selected or you can go to websites like fightphd.com and there would be projects coming from the switzerland universities specifically on a certain uh, research project so you can apply through them and you can contact the pi and you can attend an interview and then after you get selected in the interview then you can start applying for the application through the university or through the scholarship that you're going to apply and then also you can enter into this this is two way of actually entering into most of the foreign universities now let's talk about the research fields that are available for you if anybody is uh, interested in a very specific uh, uh, research fields then you can look on to the specific universities i'm going to tell you as i already mentioned university of bern oncology is very important university of bern and university of basel if you are going to talk about it here the treatment and diagnosis of soil transmitted helminth infections if anybody is a, uh, interested in ask helminths or any other sort of things then you can definitely go for university of basel and the next is quantitative biology very specifically if you want to go for analyzing the tumor suppressor genes then university of basel is very good and quantitative biology very specifically met central metabolism and mediating antibiotic tolerance then university of basel is very good skin biology if anybody is interested in animals then you can go for it of course structural biology in university of basel is really really good so look on to your research field so if you find anything else you can put it in the comment section also the next is eth jurish synthetic biology is there very very good and inspired therapy and protein dynamics if anybody wanted to work on protein dynamics it's available molecular biology and biophysics is also available and the next university is usi so here you have bioengineering vascular biology and aging and system biology there are systems biology available in university of jurish usually university of jurish has lot of fields actually if you see and university of jurish has biomolecular structure and mechanisms and university of bern has uh, cellular and biomedical Uh, sciences so i'm going to put it over here university of bern together next one is university of jurish plant science if anybody is interested in plant research then you can go for university of jurish rna biology if anybody is related or wanted to do it over here and cancer biology is university of jurish so it is in bern usually oncology is present in most of the universities and university of jurish molecular biology and evolutionary biology these are some of the most reputed research fields in different universities you can look on to these universities and you can check on to the departments what are the scientists what are the projects available and then you can approach them and one important things that i have to take into consideration for all of you is 
there are some universities which ask for your GRE. There are some universities which do not ask for GRE also. So accordingly, you have to apply. If any university asks for GRE, you have to write GRE. If not, then you don't have to write. If you have any German language requirement or if you complete your English language requirements, then you can definitely join uh, Switzerland PhD program. The next important question comes for us is, how much is the cost of living at... Switzerland, yes. So for monthly expenses, you might expect a Swiss francs of 1,600 to 2,000 almost. Uh, the stipend is a little bit higher only, so it's always good enough to go in for this one. The accommodation is going to be an average price. So I have just divided into, if you're going to take a studio room and if you're going to take a share flat, then how much is the clause? The studio room is a bit expensive, which is almost 900 Swiss francs to 2,000 Swiss francs for one month and shared flat is 500 to 900 uh, for one month and if we have to talk about the groceries the personal care the entertainment it depends upon each individuals but if you have to talk about the groceries that you have to buy your expenses then it almost be like 75 to 1000 swiss francs so this much you will be having and public transportation if you're going to take a public transport it will be 100 uh, swiss francs for, per month and the health insurance is 90. So this health insurance, if you're going to go in for international fellowship, will be taken care by the governing body itself. And utility and membership, it depends, it varies. This utility and membership actually varies. Some people will not use it. So uh, almost 350 you'll get if you go for gym or Netflix or internet bills or all these things, then it will take a bit more. So this is about the cost of living at Switzerland. And now the most important question, wherever you apply for PhD position in which of the university, these are the documents which are more common. So you need to apply for your application process, a printed and a signed copy two passport size photos and a copy of your ID and your official transcript starting from your 10th, your 12th or your PU college or your bachelor's, your master's and if you have done your uh, MPhil then those degrees along with that the most important criteria is language proficiency certificate since Switzerland is an area where they speak different languages they speak uh, German, they speak French, they speak English uh, they speak Italy, every language are spoken over there. So if you're going to be very proficient in any of these languages, then it would be very good. If you know German and any of these things, DSS or De test DAF or OSD or TELC, uh, it's very good enough. Or if you have a certifications or your diploma in DELF or DALF um, in French, then it is good enough. Or if you don't have German language requirement and French language requirements, it's most important that you have either IELTS or TOEFL or Pearson's test academics. If you're going to have, then it is very, very good enough. This is all mandatory things that you need to apply for this. Some of the universities do not ask for GRE. Most of the universities ask for IELTS or TOEFL. The next is your CV and a personal essay or a motivation letter or a statement of purpose. Everywhere you can see the same thing which has been keep repeating. So this is about the PhD at Switzerland, everything you need to know about. So I believe the one who have asked the question to us, uh, I believe this uh, questions, uh, whatever you asked, your answers have been met. So if you have any more questions, you can put it in the comment sections. And I believe that this video is helpful for all of you. Thank you all of you for joining. And I'm gonna meet you back again with another video. Thank you all of you.